I forgot to put lipstick on. Let's talk about fussy eaters. I'm in my living room in my pajamas, so you know this is going to be a chatty, informal, kind of like talk to a friend video. And today, like I said, I want to talk about fussy eaters because I have a fussy eater. And if you have a fussy eater, let me know in the comments below. I want you guys engaging with me. I want you giving me tips and sharing tips with each other because as a parent of a fussy eater, I feel like I'm a bad mum. <laughs> And for a long time, I didn't admit it that my son was a fussy eater because somehow that kind of implied that I had failed him as a mum and that I was doing something that caused him to be a fussy eater. Um, but I don't know what happened since I had Isabella. Something must have clicked in my mind that I am finally finding the courage to be honest about a lot of things in motherhood. And before Isabel, I was honest, but I just didn't feel comfortable to share online. I was honest with my husband and our closest people, but I just didn't feel comfortable. I felt like I was going to be judged left, right and center if I said or did something wrong. But I feel so supported by the mum community online, especially since joining Channel Mum and making them my mum village and my friends. I feel the support behind me. So I feel like now like I can speak up about the things that I just that, that are bothering me basically and that I will have the support of you guys so that's why I keep asking you to comment because that is what supports us all it's the comments from mums who have been through it or who have not been through it but have some experience or some words of advice or even if you don't have anything to say just saying I hear you I'm listening it's it works and it, it helps other mums so Back to the point of this video, fussy eaters. Now, I'll give you a little bit of background story. James, who's my toddler, he's two now, but when he started weaning at about four and a half months, um, he was great. He would eat everything and anything. I weaned him a little bit early because he had reflux and it was recommended by his pediatrician and he was great. For a long time he would eat all the purees and I enjoyed making my own purees, mashing everything up. I always did kind of a combination of purees and um, you know ready-made pouches. Um, we used to give him Ella's Kitchen pouches and he loved them, absolutely loved them. I could eat, I could give him anything, um, broccoli, carrot, cauliflower, courgette and he would eat it all. And then obviously as they become toddlers, they learn what they like and what they don't like. And some t children become fussy eaters. So at around about nine to 12 months, James was still only eating purees. We had moved him onto stage two purees of Ella's Kitchen, but he was refusing to eat my home cooked purees. I just wanted my son to eat. So I gave him what he would eat. Um, some people might say that was my mistake, but now I know that it isn't because I know so many mums who did what I did and who did the opposite and there's absolutely no relation to the two things. Then when he turned one, I tried again to move him onto the food that we were eating and mash it up to see if it was the texture that he didn't like. No luck. So we just carried on giving him what he would eat and buying the, the pouches and buying the ready-made food for him. and. So many times I've tried to cook for us all as a family and to get him to eat and he wouldn't. So much food in this house has gone to waste. I think my bin has seen thousands of very tasty meals go straight in there and not in my toddler's mouth. <laughs> so it is incredibly frustrating because I am not a good cook. I don't like cooking. I don't enjoy being in the kitchen for ages. I know some people do, but I'm not like that at all. If I could be in and out of the, quick, the kitchen as quickly as possible, I will. So I don't enjoy it. So when you do something that's like way and beyond what you enjoy, spending ages finding recipes, buying the best organic ingredients, cooking something for your child, and they just take one look at it and go, no. <laughs> And then you try and you try and you try and every single time you get the same response, it just knocks you. And a couple of things have made me think about talking about fussy eating. One, the first thing was 
Laura, who is Laura Byrne here on YouTube, she talked about how her son Harrison, I'll leave everything linked below, like if you want to find Laura, there's a link in the description box below. Um, her son Harrison was a fussy eater and she suddenly recently had a breakthrough where Harrison will eat a lot of things and Laura the way that she was honest and talking about it and how she felt so relieved just by going to the shop doing gro shopping for groceries to cook Harrison some food was a happy moment for her that's exactly how I feel it will be for us when James starts eating and the other thing that made me talk about this was that I've recently started doing lots of grocery hauls and showing what we buy as a family for food and someone left a comment asking why don't I buy more um, sort of cook from scratch stuff and why do I buy so many ready foods and the reason is because James doesn't eat what we eat and like I said I don't enjoy spending ages cooking so we find it easier to buy just like you know Hunter's chicken from Aldi which has the sauce in it the chicken and then we buy some veg or some salad to go with it and that is me and Matthew Dunn we don't like we don't spent ages in the kitchen like I said so that made me talk about our eating habits and James being a fussy eater so this video is basically me asking for support and help with my fussy eater I've tried a lot of things but I am willing to try more things if you have any tips that you think will may work um, so James nowadays he's two like I said and from the age of one to two he's basically lived off Annabelle Carmel ready-made food now I'm quite picky in what I give to him I know there are lots of brands out there that do pre-cooked foods for toddlers but I only buy what I think is healthy for him and Annabelle Carmel is pr probably one of the healthiest out there and he loves them the taste is good and there's lots of good stuff in it they pack it with veggies there's like four or five veggies in a meal and I know that he's getting the nutrition that he needs so James is a fussy eater in that way in that he will only eat certain things and he won't eat um, home-cooked foods um, he loves fruit so that is a great thing we could give him all the fruit in the world and he would eat fruit but veggies and anything that is not what he's used to he won't touch so what one thing that we did recently that has helped and that has made him eat one home-cooked food is we try to replicate the recipe from one of the Annabelle Carmel meals that he likes. So there is the, I think it's the meatballs, uh, pasta, meatballs in tomato sauce, something like that. And we bought the meatballs, we bought the pasta sauce and the pasta and snuck in some veggies in there, mashed it all up and we tried it and he ate it. And I don't know if it was because he didn't see how it was prepared or because whether or not it was tasty as well I don't know what it was but he ate it and I have tried so many of these I've tried recreating other meals like a fish pie or a cottage pie and he my, my one he wouldn't eat it but if I gave him the Annabelle Carmel cottage pie he ate it no problem but the meatballs was a great success so that is something that helped. Um, another tip that someone gave me was to use some of the packaging from the ready-made food to serve it to him or for him to think that's coming from there because our children, especially young toddlers who can't really communicate yet, they are very perceptive and they know a lot more than what we think they do. And so someone said to me that he might know, he might see you preparing the food and see that you're not making it in the usual way that he eats and so he would just refuse it. So we haven't tried that yet but I think that's something that we'll try next. I would love to know what you have done to help with your fussy eaters and if you have any tips for me to try with James. I know now that there isn't one particular reason that made him a fussy eater. I know now that isn't because I did something wrong. It isn't because I just gave him what he wanted to eat. And I know that I'm not a bad mum for it, but I feel like it. And that's horrible. It's like the mum guilt of going to the supermarket and buying eight, nine packs of Annabelle Carmel and going to pay for it in the till makes me feel so low. And yeah, I think just admitting this 
already makes me feel better because I know for certain that there will be some of you out there in the comments who will say I do that too and it just oh, it makes me feel like I can breathe so yeah fussy eaters talk to me about it share some tips leave it on the comments below and hopefully you can come along our journey together and one day in one video I will say to you James is no longer a fussy eater and that's all I can hope for. So yeah, be kind to yourself as a mum, don't judge yourself too much, don't put too much pressure on yourself and let's support each other. I hope you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're new and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and if you like watching these kinds of videos I'll leave links in the description box below of similar videos that I've done. I have a series on weaning that I did when James was starting weaning or like halfway into weaning and if you want to watch those videos the links will be in the description box below and yeah I'll see you all very soon bye